All right, guys, welcome back to this final video of this series. So the website is done. You can check out the links below this video. Check out the website for yourself if you want. But just a final video to let you know that this project wrapped up. So basically, very short video. I'm just going to cover some final thoughts. And then let me know what you think below in the comments. If you like this content, if you like this series, if you want to see more stuff like this or what you do want to see next year, let me know in the comments below. So yeah, the project is done. Uh, I know it took a few weeks to release the content. I feel like in real life, um, without trying to produce content showing you what I was doing, if I was just doing this project for my own web design business, I think about one to one and a half weeks to do a project like this. Um, how much would I charge? Somebody asked me that question on a previous video. I think two to 5,000 US dollars would be the kind of range here. It would depend on what experience level. If I was starting a new business, like this challenge was showing someone else how to do, I think 2,000 would be a good amount. If I was established and this was part of, you know, just one of the clients that I had going on, um, probably 5,000 and be focusing on a gym that had that sort of budget uh, to pay for something like this. In Poland, 5,000 US for a boxing gym website wouldn't be realistic. But, you know, if you're targeting a high-end gym or boxing club or something in a major city in the US and Canada, maybe in the UK, they probably would have that sort of money. So again, it depends on your experience level. It depends on the location that you're targeting. But I hope that this project overall has just shown you how easy this can be to get going, how easy it can be to find a client, how to find out what problems they have, how to solve those problems, how to build a website in a very, very easy way. I covered that in one of the videos. You shouldn't be spending a lot of time with your design. It shouldn't be a complicated process. The real value is coming from the strategy, finding the people with problems, finding out what those problems are, and then figuring out how to solve those problems and grow and improve your client's business. So specifically with this website, the problems that we solved was him trying to target these better paying, more dedicated clients for his own business. And I think that the website really helped a lot with that. The images in here, the language, the copywriting that we used, and then also the sales system to get those sort of people to take action. I really think it's gonna be very, very effective and just from talking to him and getting his initial feedback, it really feels like he feels that also and that he sees um, a clear way for this website to help his business. Now, for you watching this, what does that mean as far as those exact problems? Not a whole lot, but basically there's a lot of businesses out there with their own set of problems, their own set of challenges, and they need someone like you to come along and help them. In 2021, it's very, very clear that a lot of businesses are gonna have to adjust, adapt, to learn how to use the web in a more effective way to keep their business open, keep their sales coming in and keep attracting and working with new clients. So there's lots and lots of businesses out there, probably the best opportunity ever to be starting or growing a web design business. You just need to see those opportunities and you need to come in with the right sort of message, the right sort of pitch and base it around building a website that gets results. Nobody wants to invest right now in things that just look good, but that don't do anything for their business. But a lot of people are waiting to spend their money in a smart way to keep their business open, keep it growing, keep it improving. So if you have the strategies, what we're covering in this series, you're going to do very, very well next year. And this is the content that I want to cover even more of next year. If you're still selling websites that just look good, but don't do much, I think it's not going to go so well, to be honest. So I really hope that this series helps you in a big way to focus on what matters for business owners so that you yourself can succeed with your own web design business. So that is it for this year and for this series. Really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, again, any questions, any comments, any feedback, let me know down below. Also check out the links there, a few more resources that I'll add in and I'll be catching you very early next year. So thanks for watching. Thanks for following along with the channel uh, this year. Catch you next year. Wish you all the best over the holidays and I'm sure that we're all gonna crush it next year. So see you soon. Thanks for watching.